Good morning, people. Howdy. This is the original shotgun outdoors coming to you from the indoors. I'm indoors today. Not because it's a bad day outside. It's actually pretty nice. Not too cold. The uh, sun is shining nice and bright. I was outside earlier. But I said to myself, I need to get my fishing gear in order. Because we're going to start coming into spring here. And have some real nice days to go fishing. And I want to be ready. I don't know about you, but I want to be ready. So I don't have to fool around later on. So I stopped by Walmart the other day and I got me a whole box full of hooks and uh, stuff that was kind of hard to find last summer because Walmart, like all the big box stores, they stock up for the season before the season starts. They stock their shelves. Once the season starts, it's hard to find stuff. They put swimming suits on the rack around this time of year, stuff like that. But in August, you won't find a swimming suit. In August, they're getting ready for the fall. So they want to sell out everything they got, all their inventory in the, in the store before the season. So at the beginning of the season, everybody's equipped. So as I was in there, everything they had everything stocked up on the fishing. So I bought up a whole bunch of stuff. So I'd be ready. And the one thing I bought up uh, was this eight pound test line. Okay. I bought this fishing pole. It's a little mini, mini mite fishing pole. I don't know what you call it. But it's a Steinhauser reel. And I really love this thing. It's a six pound test line at 40 yards. Well, I found out last year when I was trying it out, I caught a big old catfish. And before I could get him to the shore, he broke the line. I was, I was able to get him right up to the shore, and I was getting ready to pull him out of the water before I could get down there and get him. He twisted and flipped. He saw that shoreline, he twisted and flipped and broke the line. So I went ahead and put uh, a heavier test pound line on there, and I believe it was probably a 10 or a 12. Well, doing so, I couldn't get 40 yards in there. And this thing's so smooth, whatever I had in there, whether it be 25 or 30, I don't, you know, I really don't know how many yards it, it would take it at. But being a thicker line, it wouldn't take that much. And I was winging this thing out there, and it stopped. Because <laughs> it ran out of line and it fell in the water. So I'm thinking, well, this isn't good. I need uh, a heavy line, but I don't have much room on this reel because it's small. Okay, so that's why I got the eight pound test this year. I, I wound up as much as I could wind up in here. How many yards it is, I really don't know because the spool is uh, 1,700 yards. So, how much of this I use, I don't know. But eight pound, I figure, give me a little bit more of a chance with a bigger fish because the pole held it up fine, the reel held it fine. It was just that the line didn't hold too good. So, I'm dying to check it out, test it out. It's going to be fun, and hopefully I catch me a whopper. But I like this little pole because this with a small small tackle box kit, a light tackle box kit, I can stick it in just about anywhere. You know, this extends out. It goes out pretty far, I'd say. It extends out to at least three feet. And... I tell you, it held that big old catfish. I'm talking big old catfish. He was <laughs> long. Not too fat. He was fat, but not too fat, but he was long. So, you know, he was he was well past six pounds. He was probably about 12, 15 pounds. And <laughs> I was nervous the whole time about bringing him up. So this makes me more confident with the eight pound on there. And we'll see how, how well it works, you know, how far I can cast. I'll give you an update later on after I get out there, you know, in a couple months and try it out. Because I'm on, whether I'm putting it on a motorcycle or taking it in a car, when I go out fishing, I'm going to take this baby out there with me because I'm going to make it a point of checking it out and giving you a better update. But so far, 
I love this little guy, and she seems to work pretty good. It, uh, solid construction. I saw Walmart had them on sale, too. They're about, maybe about 20, 30 bucks. Well worth the price to me. Because, uh, you know, the, the, the Jeep I can carry a bigger rod in. Or, you know, even a, a real good size rod if it break down in two pieces. But in my saddlebag, this will fit in fine. Uh, anything bigger than this, forget it. So, it's nice to throw it in the back. Might be just taking a nice cruise on a nice day somewhere. And Man, I'd like to try out that little pond there, or that lake there. You know, now I can. So, get yourself together. Get yourself together early so you can get out there when it is a nice day. Everything's ready to go. You got your gear, your reels, and everything been oiled. Gone over your line if you need to put a new line on there. Sharpen that fillet knife. You know, take the boat motor and uh, do your PM, preventive maintenance on there. Get everything ready to go. So, I got me a new life vest this year. I'm ready to go. When that day hits, there ain't no fooling around. I'll be out there. Will you still be checking your gear? Looking for everything that you... Hey, don't know where it's at. Where where did I put that thing last year? Well, I know where mine is because I'm getting it all together today. Good luck to you. Hope you get out there and enjoy the outside. This is the original Shotgun Outdoors. All the others are imposters. And I'm wishing you a very blessed day and a blessed springtime. All right. Remember, good fishing is good eating.